On the other side of the difficulty is a new level of your destiny. If you'll keep the right attitude, all things will work for your good. Not some things, not just the good breaks, the promotion, but even the loss, the disappointment, the person that walked away. It wasn't random. It was ordained by God. Whatever threatens you, threaten it back. Whatever threatens your opportunity, threaten it back. Now, some of our enemies are on the outside, but here's the most important thing to understand. Some of our enemies are on the inside. Whatever threatens you, I'm asking you to threaten it back. Take care of your responsibility. Somebody wants to destroy your chances for a good future by their negative talk, negative thinking, putting it all down. I'm telling you, walk away if you have to, walk away. Listen to this. In this quick age where we want everything now, if we don't get it now, we quit. Give it some time. Give it some focus. Until you can clap for the seedling, you will never see the tree because you're so busy trying to compete with the trees that you haven't gone through the process of the acorn. We think about our lives in decades. I was from the 60s, but we plan our lives in days. Very few people have a plan for the next 10 years. You're in love with tomorrow but you're neglecting today. But until you learn how to appreciate where you are in the process, you won't get the power to evolve to your ultimate destiny. So you need to take your eye off of the tree and water what you've got now. When you want something out of life, don't worry about how you're going to get it. The most difficult thing it is, is to hold the vision. You want to be persistent about what it is that you want to achieve. Promising yourself you will never give up. I ask the kids, how long should a baby try to learn how to walk? How long would you give your average baby? How many times will your baby attempt to walk and fall and you just say, just sit down, don't try anymore, you've fallen 20 times. Any mother in the world would say, you're crazy, my baby is going to keep trying what? Until, what a magic word, until. Don't get caught up in, well, I've tried it five times and things didn't work out. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. And don't give up on yourself. Many people give up on the one yard line. Oh, no, no, no. See, life is not just that simple. And that's why most people never realize their personal great. They're casual about life. And when you are casual about life, you will end up a casualty. You should understand this, that it was always going to be your family and your friends that would be the first ones to try and talk you out of your vision and your big idea. That's why you're supposed to live your life. Focus on your intentions and do your thing. Knowing who you are, that will determine how you behave. When you know who you are, accept who you are, then that's going to determine what you do. When you allow your behavior to confuse your identity, then that's called an identity crisis. And the way that happens is, is you allow your behavior to determine who you are. And your behavior should not determine who you are. You cannot continue to look at what you do and conclude that what you do defines who you are. Look back over 10 years in your life, what happened? And what have you learned from it? If you don't learn from what you lost, you have no profit. Why would you have that much pain and no profit? I want this year to propel me into my destiny. If it's just but one step, I want to make one step closer so that when I get to the next 10 years, I am ready for that stage of my life. This will be a transformative year. It is not the movement of the clock that produces the newness of life. It is a movement in your mind. God is about to transform your thinking, your mindset. Don't let the habits of my past stop me from this metamorphosis. What separates us is transformation. The passion to get up off the ground and stop eating dirt. This is my time. In other words, there were behaviors and thoughts you've had in the past that were needed to produce the results you currently have but you need to stop what's no longer needed. So ask yourself that question. What do I need to drop that's no longer needed? Is it a behavior? Is it a person? One of those things you probably are carrying with you from the past, but that thought, that behavior, that person is no longer needed for you to go to the next level of your identity, the next level of yourself. If you're stuck, you're stuck in a story. Right now you say, Ed, I'm kind of stuck where I am. 
But what you need to do is you need to alter your associations. You need to do something in a short window of time and evaluate the story you're telling yourself. Maybe it's a story about your past, a story about your parents, a story about a success you used to have you keep talking about that doesn't serve you to get to the next level. Every second you spend in that old story about what you've achieved, some business you had, every time you live in that story, you're stripping time and focus from the new story. What's the old story you keep repeating? Maybe it's not a success. Maybe it's a failure that you've had. You can't take that old story into the new identity. What's your new story? Who are you now? See, here's what's amazing. At any point in your life, you can just decide to write a new script. And guess what? You and God control the script. Listen to me. At any time you want, you can simply decide to be a new character. Stop telling the old story. Here's the truth. Nobody cares. And that old character you keep playing is the very thing that will prevent you from becoming this new version of you. Just awareness of the power of identity puts you in the 0.1% of all the people on the spinning earth right now. Becoming is not about arrival, it's about the journey. We're committing to the journey, we're committing to the process. In fact, you won't get there until you die. There are moments that try the human soul so violently that if the truth were told, all of us have had moments that we wanted to throw up our hands and walk away. Because I believe that, what that tells me is that while I'm becoming, I'm gonna face problems. Did you know it's totally possible to be struggling and becoming at the same time? Some of you in this room, you're struggling. Just because you're struggling hasn't stopped you from becoming. Our problems do not overshadow our purpose. Our weaknesses do not discount our work and our deficiencies definitely do not delay our destiny. We have to learn how to work our weakness. Someone say work your weakness. Always something there to build a case on why you can't move on, why you can't grow to the next level, why you can't begin to manifest your greatness. Always something there to block you, to keep you where you are and keep you from beginning to develop your true greatness. How do we handle it? If you've been using the fact that you don't have enough money or you don't have the education, take it head on, go get the education. These are philosophical statements, but they are very important. Leadership begins with your belief and your belief system determines your philosophy of life. Build your self-confidence and the greater and greater self-confidence get it minimizes the impact self-doubt has on us. You weren't born doubting. You weren't born discouraged. You weren't born thinking negative things about yourself. As hard as this is to accept, these are not your thoughts. Those were thoughts that were placed in you and given to you by an external source at some time in your life. It could even be our parents. Maybe it was criticism you received as a, as a little one that you may not even remember to this day that I've decided a long time ago that I didn't want to be another man who lived and died and didn't do anything significant. There's so many of y'all that are running around that are connecting whatever your concept of what life and love and happiness is to this thing that doesn't exist. And so in your mind, you're not living until you get to that. I know when you keep toxic things in your life, you're going to feel toxic. And some of us are wondering why we don't feel great. The longer you keep toxic things in your life, the longer you keep negativity in your life. I'm a firm believer in giving multiple chances, but after a while, you have to realize sometimes it's what you're choosing to accept, right? You know what it is. Some of us, we're so blind to what we want it to be that we keep seeing something for what it's not. We keep seeing a person for who they don't want to become. I don't care what, what they just said to you. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. Prayer change things. You need God. Don't you think I got here without him? I've needed him every step of the way. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't even be standing here today. I'm telling you right now, you need God. Quit being ashamed about it and worrying about who looking. Go somewhere by yourself today and tell God you need some help. They doubt the whole world is going to make it. But I'm asking you not to pick up all those doubts. I'm asking you to have some faith. Have some courage, believe, drive your doubts into a small corner. Don't doubt the future, 
Don't doubt the extraordinary gifts that your distributors bring to your organization. Don't doubt that. Don't doubt the possibilities. And here's the most important one of all. Don't doubt yourself. So you got to decide, wait, wait. Even if I things don't work out, even if I experience defeat or failure, that does not make me a failure. It's a difference between failing and being a failure. If you if things don't work out, if you don't produce the results you want, that's all. But don't confuse who you are with the results that you produce. It's an impossible for you to have continuous success without having self-discipline. And my greatest challenge as a leader is your greatest challenge as a leader. And that is every day keeping people climbing. Because they don't want to climb. They want to coast to success. They want it to come to them. And they just kind of hope that if they're at the right place at the right time, something wonderful will happen to them. It won't. When you still carry your history, you are afraid of success because you may lose your friends who ain't going nowhere. Very subtle problems. Your attitude is so powerful, it creates your atmosphere. It also is a source of your natural lifestyle. And if you're going to change your life, you're going to change your attitude. Now here's the bottom line. Your belief system is the source of your attitude. I got better. I got better day by day and week by week and month by month. And I'm asking you to do the same thing until you can develop influence that won't quit. Touch people next year you couldn't touch this year. Heart and soul now mixed in there that wasn't there, missing before. I'm asking all of you to get better in spite of the winters, in spite of the downturn. Just get stronger. Get better. We've all got those personal winters. Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. People say, well, I was just thinking it. Well, you don't realize how important the thought is. The power of your mind, the power of your thoughts has tremendous ability to shape your life for good or for bad. And if you accept the thought, Growing up, somebody said to you, you're worthless, you're no good, you don't matter. If you accepted that fact, whether it was right or wrong, it shaped your life. Spring is not a guarantee of a harvest in the fall and the autumn, harvest on. Here's what you must learn to do. Take advantage. Take advantage of the spring. Don't just be faked out by the spring because the nice weather has come, and the winter's finally passed, the spring is here. Telling you that's not going to do it for you. Just because the spring is here, it's not going to do it for you. You got to seize it with your own two hands. Realize their personal uh, greatness. They are casual about life. And when you are casual about your life, will life you will end up a casualty. Uh, for gain. You should understand this that is was always going to be your family, your friends that would be the first one to try and talk you your big idea. That's why you are supposed to live your life. Focus on your international uh, intentions and do you think knowing who you are that will determine how you behave when you know who you are accept who you are then that's going to determine what you do when you allow your behavior to confess your identity then that's called it an identity crisis and the way that happens is is you allow your behave to determine who you are and your behavior should not determine uh, who you are you cannot continue to look at what you do and conclude that what you do defines who you are. Look back over 10 years in your life what happened and 
what have you learned it from it if don't learn from what you lost you have no profit why why would you have that much pain and no profit i want this year to propel me into my dis- destiny if it's just about one step i want to make one step closer so that when i get to the next 10 years that i am all ready for that stage of my life this will be transformative year it is not in bob movement of the clock that that products the newest of life